transurfers and the transurfing curious. I am Renee Garcia. This is Transurfing TV. And today, one of our 78 days of practical transurfing, day 30, here world, have me. Yesterday, world, give yourself to me. So these are really, really amazing because it's about meeting your world halfway and your world assisting you in what it is you intend to have. There are 30 of these uh, 78 days of practical transurfing lessons now. So if you have missed any, go back. There's a playlist and they are all there. So before I start, please subscribe if you have not done so already. And please like this video and comment in the comment section below. I love reality transurfing to join my giveaway for my awesome reprogramming stickers, which I will make myself and ship to you anywhere in the world so everyone can join. These are awesome and I would be lost without them. So with that, we will get started. Day 30, here world, have me. As a rule, People tend to be entirely consumed by thoughts of what they want from others without trying to understand what others want for themselves. By shifting your attention to the desires and motives of other people, you easily get what you want for yourself. All you have to do is work out where your partner's internal intention is focused. Whenever you need something from a person to gain their favor or to encourage them to do something, ask yourself this question. What does this person want? What motivates them and what are they interested in themselves? Direct your actions towards realizing your partner's intention and they will willingly reward you with the same. Vadim Zeeland's interpretation. In one way or another, all the problems we face with other people result from conflicting internal intentions. Motivated by their own interests, People are inevitably trying to get something from someone else while that person is thinking down entirely different lines, focused instead on what's important to them. Use other people's internal intention to achieve your own goals. A person's sense of self-worth lies at the very foundation of their internal intention. Beyond life itself, nothing is more important to a person than his or her own sense of self-worth. Shift your attention from yourself to other people. Stop playing the game of increasing your own worth. Play the game of making other people feel greater self-worth themselves. To attract attention to yourself, it is enough to show interest in others. Don't talk to people about what interests you. Talk to them about themselves and the things that interest them. Your personal strengths and weaknesses are what interests your partner the least. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. What they are most interested in is the feeling of self-worth they experienced when they are talking to you. How can you motivate someone to do something? Present the task to them in the light of how it will increase their sense of self-worth and they will be what they will want to be involved. Sorry about that. Oops. Okay, so what is Vadim saying here? Um, Vadim is saying that most people are focused on their own internal intention. And if you can flip it around and focus on another person's internal intention, then they will be more susceptible to want to please 
you, right? This is basic, basic, basic frailing 101. I actually call to mind this amazing website that a friend of mine sent me. This guy built this website about um, finding a potential mate, finding a romantic partner. And he's like, I don't know, in his 60s or something. And he goes off on all these things that he wants and he's looking for from a for, for from a partner and all the attributes physical attributes and 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 characteristics and even down to like he doesn't want him to have a dog that sleeps in the bed he doesn't want him to use hairspray he wants him to vote for a certain political party i mean it was insanity and he talks at the end about how lonely he was and how he doesn't understand why he can't find a romantic partner and I was just absolutely shaking my head because I'm like dude which woman in this world is going to want to be involved with you when you are working this a hundred percent from inner intention so here's the deal if you are striving to achieve something and you are not seeing results you are probably working from inner intention too greatly and it's time to flip that flip that switch and go into outer intention and frailing mode where you focus on others that will help you to achieve what it is you in fact want to achieve your your direction your intentions your ultimate inner intention but drop that down right forget about what it is that you want Focus on what someone else wants and how you can give it to them and how you giving to them will put them into a mode where they will want to help you realize your intentions in turn. Because again, people don't want to feel like they're in your debts, right? If you're a giver and you're looking out after somebody else's inner intention, they're going to turn around and look out after yours. But if you stand there and stomp your feet and demand and you want your inner intention met, just like Vadim says, most of our problems, our interpersonal problems, are a battle between two sets of inner intention. So if you're inner intentioning the hell out of your partner, then your partner's probably inner intentioning the hell out of you and nothing's getting done and nothing's working out and nobody's getting what they want. Flip it around, one person absolutely can make the difference in a relationship if they can stop thinking inner intention and start thinking outer intention and frailing. This works with everything, romantic partners, family, friends, business partners, people in your community, every single person, children, all sorts of relationships. So now is the time to ask yourself, are you working too fiercely from inner intention? How can you turn the volume down on your inner intention and turn it up on your ability to grasp what how you can plug into your reality via outer intention or how you can plug into another person via frailing. This is like a well-oiled machine. This is how you get your reality functioning in a beautiful and effortless way where you have others helping you to realize your exact intentions. So remember, like this video if you like it, subscribe, and join our contest. I love reality transurfing for your chance to win some of my awesome reprogramming stickers. And thanks so much for watching my video, everyone. Bye.